Ah, it's about time. to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have a very exciting elite 86 review because finally i can replace this god awful carmella now i'm gonna be real with you all right a lot of people are gonna say but mdt that carmella's not garbage well brad it frustrates the hell out of me okay it's got those newy arms that were garbage she kind of looks like a damn barbie how she, her arms won't go down by her sides her feet are loosey-goosey she always face plants she's like too tall her neck won't even like pose around she's just awful fire attire really cool looking figure the head sculpt's not terrible you know all those things but also single jointed legs i don't know Oh, man i'm very happy to replace this this is a good day this is probably the best women's figure as far as like replacing another figure since bailey in elite 80 we had natalia in elite 74 i mean dude when we're when we're getting these new women's figures and i can finally get away from the older ones and replace these figures that aren't as good it is a great day with that being said, guys, if you would like to grab these as well as the Mankind Rock 2 pack, the AEW accessory pack, the anything, go over to Ringside Collectibles, man. Use promo code MDTOYS. You can pre-order all your stuff. I will say if if two items don't have like similar, I, I would say this. Unless you're ordering like a wave, do not order like three or four different items on the same order so that you don't get all your pre-orders broken up into different pieces because if you end up doing that, you're going to end up waiting until everything comes in stock and you're going to be way behind and you're figures are going to rot in the warehouse so what you want to do is do separate you know pre-orders sometimes i know it sucks to pay multiple shipping but you will get your figures earlier instead of having to waiting around use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent over there get in all the stuff we got carmella we got the miz elite 86 review in the house let's break it down guys we got carmella here her best figure by far the miz and the white gear what else do you want me to say let's spin it around carmella miz looking handsome and, and pretty all in their stuff you got the fabulous over there you got the stuff on the back if you'd like to read it you can pause it now i want to say these are from the same SummerSlam, SummerSlam 2018 got the rest of the figures in the wave another image of the talent there and we are all wrapped up on the packaging so with that being said guys let's crack carmella and the miz out of the packaging and find out what the hell these people are all about and there we go. We got Carmella and The Miz out of their packaging. And I just wanted to attempt that style of opening up the packaging, guys. You can let me know down in the comment section below. Do you like it like that where I pop them together there? Or do you like the old classic way where, you know, we just drop them like so? So I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below which one you like better there, of course. But here's Carmella and Miz out of the packaging like we said. I enjoy it. I think, you know, we got some good stuff going on with it. Can't wait to dive into them more. But of course, before we get into themselves, we do have to dive into their accessories. So what we can do first is cover Carmella's accessories and Carmella and we will run it back and then go through the Miz's accessories and take a closer look at the Miz figure. So let's go ahead and dive in, shall we? So diving into Carmella's accessories, guys, starting out with the main accessory, it's got to be the cloth pants, right? I mean, these cloth pants are pretty freaking fire. I will say they are kind of baggy, you know, but I think that's how they were at SummerSlam, right? I will say, why doesn't she come with the SmackDown Women's Championship? On the packaging, it literally says, the fabulous SmackDown Women's Champion put her title on the line against Becky Lynch and Charlotte at SummerSlam 2018 to prove that Mella is money. What's she ain't money if there ain't no John Brown championship in the thing, and we don't have a lot of women's championships anyway, so I don't know. Anyways, you get the fabulous text on there in the pink and white with the black pants. I will put these on the figure at, you know, later on in the video, so definitely stay tuned for that. Spoiler alert, I don't. In our comparisons part, I'll go ahead and do that, but I like these pants. They look really good. Hopefully, they look just as good on the on, on the figure and stuff. I don't know if these will fit men's figures. I'm sure they will if you wanted to do something, you know, something crazy with that or something creative. There you go. She also comes with with mic holding hands and she also has the white nail polish on there which is always appreciated and then we do get the wide open hands for her entrance so that's pretty cool right there i always appreciate the women i don't know man i i don't know what it is but these newer women's figures are just so superior it's it's crazy how good they are but that is carmella's accessories all right guys so getting into carmella looking at the head sculpt now i will say this head sculpt is superior to a lot of carmella head sculpts she's one of those that they just haven't gotten right for a long time i know a lot of women's figures have been that way but carmella becky lynch 
Uh, there's some others out there, I'm sure, but those are some that just stick out in my brain immediately, but I like this likeness. I think it looks like her. I think I would have preferred the hair down, like, without the, you know, the whatever, the, the hair tie or the ponytail band in her hair, because I think the back of the packaging look is a little bit better as far as her hair is concerned, but I like the likeness. I like it. I like the hair sculpt. It's a little bit different. You get the pink hair tie in there. Really cool gear with the fabulous going across the chest. This is fabulous. You got the cheetah print on there, the black and pink. All of it looks really nice. Fabulous there. Stomach going on. All the good things. She does have single jointed arms on there. The figure feels immaculate in the hand. On the back it does say Mela. You got fabulous. You got the money on the butt. You got fabulous again. You get a lot of great stuff going on. Double jointed knees. Just freaking specimen, man. That's beautiful. You get the long socks. The black long socks going all the way down. One really cool thing is that these are virtually boots right here. So you could pretty much put these on another figure and give them like this kind of look, you know? Like you can give them the long socks look or the shoes look, which is cool. Now, I don't know what exact kick she was wearing. Actually, let me Google it so I can tell you exactly the kicks. I'm going to try and base it strictly off the image. I'm not going to look up the exact name. I'm just going to look at the image of the shoe she wore and see if I can tell you. Okay, so I can immediately tell you straight off the bat that she was wearing Jordan 14s. I can look photograph and tell you that they were a Jordan 14 colorway. Now, I don't know if they were custom or if they were an actual colorway release, but these are not shaped like Jordan 14s. I mean, I understand why they couldn't do that, but they weren't just regular tennis shoes, you know, but you could use these as regular tennis shoes or sneakers or whatever you want to say. This is a cool sculpt regardless, even if it's not Jordan 14s, still works out good for me. I like it. I like the colors and the pinkness and everything like that, but it's not completely accurate. I'm a sneaker head, so, you know, I had to address it, but this Carmella figure is pretty damn sick, nasty farts. I think it's going to be a great figure overall in the ranking because uh, she can do all kinds of crazy stuff. She's got the double jointed knees there. This is a really great, this, this absolutely murders her other figure. Like, absolutely murders it. Doesn't even come close. This is excellent. I love it. Excellent job on the Carmella. Now, I would do a Carmella figure comparison, but I chunked mine out into the yard, as you guys saw. So, I apologize for that, but, uh, yeah, no Carmella comparisons. I apologize. I really do. Psych, I don't miss it. So, diving into Miz's accessories, guys, let's start off with the big ugly rubber coat thing, right? We've seen this with so many Mrs. I mean, good God in heaven, man. They're cool for display, I will say, like, you know, Kyle Peterson, somebody that comes to my mind, he uses all of his accessories on his display, and it really brings his cabinets and his display display together. So Kyle, if you're watching this or you guys don't know who Kyle Peterson is, go check him out. Look up his channel. His display and his collection is immaculate, but I think his collection is beautifully displayed and that is why these coats actually work for something because they look really good on display. But outside of that, guys, if you're going to be taking out your figures and posing them around a lot or doing stop motion and pick fetting, these are essentially worthless unless you slice the sleeves off. But they look good. They have good sculpt. They have good striping. It's pretty cool. It's white. It's gray. It does the thing. Next up is his head band accessory. Now, we have seen this with the Elite 69 Miz, which is pretty much what this figure is based on, right? I mean, it's it's virtually the same. A little bit similar graphics. You got the little tie in the back, little black striping, little gold pendants going on. Got the Miz face. I don't even know. Is that Miz's face? I don't even... Is it... I don't... I, who gives... Who cares? Okay. Next up, we have his interchangeable hands, which is going to be the pointer fingers to tell you to shut the hell up. That's what that's saying. You. You. So that's what you get. Outside of that, he does come with mic holding hands, which are wonderful, and then he also comes with glass and we saw these with his last figures. Uh, oh, God. We saw this with his last figure as well, except they were in red, like I said. So, you get all the cool things going on. There it is. Bam. Got his stuff, and let's move on to the Miz. All right, guys, so diving into the Miz's figure, we have the Elite 86 Miz right here. Same head sculpt as the 69, right? It's like the exact same head sculpt as the Elite 69. Maybe a little bit of paint variation, not much at all. You guys know the Miz always uses... I mean, it, the Miz's figures has not changed much over the years. You get an updated head sculpt, Different color tights, a little bit of change here and there, but mainly it's just updating, you know, keeping people in the loop that missed out on the older Miz that increase in price, trying to pump those guys out. So, you know, you get the same standard Daniel Bryan style torso, black wrist tape. You do get the white gear. Now, this is one thing that I will say. It's pretty much a re-release of the Elite 37. Like, if you took the Elite 37 Miz, you combined it with the Elite 69 Miz, this is the figure that you're going to end up with. So, you get the same Miz-like graphics with the Grammy Awards and the sunglasses and the show lights and the, you know, the film going across 
across there, which is really cool. You know, his tights are always, you know, they're, they're virtually the same, but, you know, they do have good details in there. Black knee pads. You do not get the black lower legs, which is something that kind of shocked me, but you have those same, you know, spotlight patterns and films going down. You get the money maker on the kick pads there. And I mean, that's pretty much what you get out of a Miz figure. I mean, this is, if you missed out on all the other Mizzes or you want an updated Miz and, you know, you miss out on the Elite 69 again, I don't know what he goes for nowadays, but they're pretty much the same and you're basing it on attire pretty much or head sculpt. But in this case, between this and the Elite 69, you're basing it on the attire there. So as far as comparisons are concerned, here is the Elite 69 Miz. And again, man, I mean, look at them. They're, they're the exact same, right? They're the exact same, just Iron Man gear over here. And then you got freaking Moon Knight attire over there. I, I don't know. I'm just picking out a crazy character, you know? So that pretty much does it for your Miz figure, man. I'm not a lot of ton of stuff going on with it, but at the end of the day, still a really solid purchase. Let me look up what the Elite 69 goes for and compare it to the Elite 86 over here. So the Elite 69 Miz is actually pretty damn expensive. Uh, the cheapest I can find is $25 or $26 shipped. That's without taxes and all that BS. The next closest is $43 and then after that it just gets outrageous. So you'd be better off going over to Ringside Collectibles, using promo code MD Toys, picking up this Miz and yeah, that's what I would absolutely recommend, Brad. Not a doubt about it. If you pre-order the Elite 86 Miz right now today, it will be $27.99. Unless you want to go buy that $25 loose one, but you might as well get the updated one for the extras, you know, and you can add it to another order. But that's besides the point, man. There is your Elite 86 Miz. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up our Elite 86 review of Carmella and the Miz, man. Really enjoy both figures, to be honest with you. I know the Miz is basically a re-release, but after learning the knowledge of, you know, the price of Elite Series 69 Miz, I mean, that's what happens. I mean, the Elite Series 69 is a legendary set. Maybe that's why, you know? I don't know. But uh, before we get out of here, guys, I highly recommend both, especially Carmella, man. If you collect women's figures, this is no doubt about it. It will crush every other Carmella in your collection, no doubt. And this Miz is pretty damn good. If you miss out on Elite 69, you know, you want to update your Miz, this is the go-to. It's got the white gear. It's fire and desire. You get what I'm saying. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into a random shout-out before we get out of here so I can update you guys about the shout-out. So the shout-out is going to go to Jordan Bridges, who says, Seth attires are so good. We need to get a figure set of just Seth Rollins. We could have a Seth Rollins greatest attires wave. That would be super fire snooker. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking... I guess the ones we're missing, WrestleMania 34 gear. I'm talking the Avengers gear. I'm talking the Thanos gear. I'm talking WrestleMania 36 gear. I'm talking, what else are we missing? I know there's more than that. What am I thinking of? Oh yeah, the, I guess the Royal Rumble 2019, or is it 2020? Or is it 2021, the one that he just wore, like the Hitman gear? I'm talking, what else is it? What else is there? Is there? And I guess the last one would what be just his regular Monday Night Messiah in black gear with a jacket that we didn't ever get. We only got it in basic. <laughs> we only got it in basic form. Almost vomited. Haven't done that in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching. Huge shout out to Jordan Bridges. That's an excellent idea. I'd buy the hell out of that, but you know they'd put it in basics and just, just, just don't, don't even get me started, Bradley. Huge shout out to Jordan for the comment. Thank you guys so very much for watching, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. I gotta go fart in some holes and smell it. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will drown a shark in a tank full of turtles. See ya. Don't cross the line. Cross the line, I've been